Hello you lovelies, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and after about a couple of years of break I am back with another set of videos and uh, these videos are going to be for uh, the week of 8th to 14th of April just let me make sure, yeah it is uh, from 8th to uh, 14th of April 2024 and they will refer to your star signs. Uh, this reading is going to refer to your star signs, so bear that in mind. And while you can use its information uh, to your own discretion, use it as a guidance, as advice. Uh, they may not 100% reflect to your personal situations. If you do wish me to read for your personal situations, you can always go to my website, a uh, link of which you will find in the description down below. There at the very front page, you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing. And based on your budget and as well your needs, you can go for uh, whichever one suits you best. So with that said and without further ado, let's jump straight away to the videos. Capricorn now and... Uh, I'm going to use two, system, uh, two systems. The first one is going to show us a important uh, situation or event that uh, Taro is going to show us how this situation or event is going to develop for you guys. So <clears throat> just so I can be more specific, the event that is going to be important that will happen to you this week, April 8th to April 14th. Well, that's kind of... Hmm. Those three cards. Those three cards, and they refer to a present. A present uh, within the family, right? So that is going to be a present that comes out of your family. And this present either is going to slumber conflicts that are within the family, like, you know, you are fighting with your spouse and they decide to make up with you with a present. Or a present that is going to provoke a fight in the family, like, you know, you have a tight budget and your spouse is buying you a present. Saying, what are you doing? You know... <clears throat> Could provoke that. Tarot is going to show us, right? But there is going to be a present that comes from the family, or the other um, the other interpretation here is a present that comes out of a person that you do have a sexual relationship with, right? It doesn't have to be an intimate one, just a sexual. Like, could be a person that you have an affair with, or a person that you are just friends with benefits. Okay, so let's uh, see. Let's do the ripple for a good measure. See what's going to come out of all that. So it's most, more, most likely to be the latter rather than the former here, the latter uh, rather than the former. That is what we do have. And yeah, it is a, a present that is going to attempt to restore the flow of happiness. The thing it is that you are not going to deem that present whether worthy or whether appropriate for a lack of better expression here. And that is what is exactly that's going to cause the conflicts which are going to happen in between you and the person you're having a sexual relationship with or in between you and a family member, right? Now, there are so many other variations that are popping up in your mind. For example, okay, a elder, uh, our elder in your family decides to make you a present and that poses a conflict in between you and your sibling because that present wasn't uh, offered to your sibling 
or God forbid, you know, the person you have an affair with sends you a present and your wife or a husband sees it. Well, if that is no reason for conflicts, I don't know what it is. But there is going to be a present, again, that comes either from a family member or a person that you are having a sexual relationship with, which is going to provoke um, arguments, conflicts, scandals even in some, uh, in some cases. And the most, again, innocent version of this event is going to be where um, you just deem that present unworthy and fit, insufficient. And that is the argument. Like, for example, you think that that's going to clear it, you know, I mean, you, you get the present and first, the first thing you say is that you think that you're going to gay with the mess you made just because you are giving me this, right? A, a bucket of flowers or a new phone or whatever, okay? No, 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 you gotta take a responsibility. And responsibility, it is what uh, these cards breed. Now with the justice being at the very front of it and having the Six of Cups from one side and the Nine of Cups of others, well, first of all, with the Nine of Cups as the justice stands, that speaks for the lack of uh, a pro appropriate ability if that's a word right so it's just inappropriate to have that present right now and the form of the present as well these two cards and it's kind of shows that it is out of the needs of the situation so the situation in between you and that individual whether a family member or whether uh, a friend with benefit to move forward and to to blossom to develop and to go unstrained, right? To go forward unobstructed by a trivial conundrums and by a trivial plights. And with the Six of Cups next to the Justice, that speaks for the dislike in a sense of that while it is a good gesture, it will happen that this person doesn't know you that well to presume what kind of a present actually is going to make you smile and is going to make you uh, make you feel special for a lack of better expression here yeah it is going to provoke tenderness in a sense of that it's a sweet gesture you know it's, it's just a sweet attempt here they at least figured out that they have to do something about it right but uh, it's just not the right thing okay they figure out that they have to do something but it is not the right thing for them to do and uh, it's very important that you do maintain composure here. Now, as we do have justice at the very front of the reading, the very main, the, the, the core of the reading here, that represents that if not anybody else, you have to um, breathe. Uh, uh, um, it's, the word is not just only composure, it is like to the most reasonable, to be the most reasonable person within the situation, because ultimately what's going to come up to it is how you are going to spread um, the responsibility here. And in order to do so, you must be accountable toward everyone, right? You must be accountable toward not just only everyone around you that is involved in this, but also toward yourself. So... That's pretty much an important thing that will happen to you into this week. Hopefully you are going to manage to weather it with not much of a, uh, a hassle. Hopefully this isn't going to be the start of a significant storm in your family. And hopefully at the end of the day you end up keeping up the present. And uh, hopefully you do enjoy the reading guys. If so, uh, consider subscribing for the channel, uh, leaving a like to the video, and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye!